Hey, water sign. Hey there, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is going on with you? I'm using the Lover's Path deck here. I believe that's what it is. No, it's the Finestra deck. Sorry, Finestra deck here. And I'm going to um, use that for the first part of the reading. But first, but first, um, a few announcements. We're going to do a live on July 2nd for um, the... Um, New Moon in Cancer. It is an eclipse. There are two eclipses in July. This is going. This is going to have an impact on you, Cancer, um, quite a bit. Okay, and um, this is going to be an important uh, month here coming up for you. It's your birthday month, and there's eclipse season starting here, um, right here, right now. This is going to be about moving. You're going to feel like you want to move in some important way. Move your house move out of your house, move in with somebody, um, move out from somebody, something like that. That is going to be a major, that's one of the things. So we'll talk more about it tomorrow night on the live here on the channel. You can just, you know, watch this space. <laughs> okay. And um, the tribe, the tribe, a leg up to the sea. So this can be about... Um, your friends, your family, how you guys take care of each other. You see they're in a tent, sort of a tent, a giraffe tent, <laughs> um, taking care of each other, a leg up. All right. So if you, have, if you are in need of some assistance, I feel like you might be changing your life right now, feeling like you're not really in control of it. You're just like in the boat going toward you know, following your feelings, you're doing the right thing for yourself. You might need some assistance from friends or family. Okay. And that is definitely moving that to the sea kind of thing. You could just be, you know, it could just be a temporary move for some of you, right? Just going away, sort of taking a vacation. Uh, this is more than vacate. This is not really just about a vacation. This is about a change of life, something that's changing your life. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oops, oops, oops. Um, here, let me see here. All right, one more, please. There we go. Let's see what's happening for you. All right, Seven of Wands here. Resisting a new beginning. Could be resisting a new start or standing up for yourself. Yes, standing up for yourself. Sun, I love that. King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, could be dealing with a fire sign. Capricorn here, Devil Energy. Three of Wands, moving in different directions, it looks like. Emperor, Nine of Wands, Two of Wands. This is really about a choice, manifesting a new choice. You've been working on this for a while, okay? <clears throat> manifesting something here. Wheel, Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups. Okay, so there is a new love here. New love is coming. I feel like you you don't know why you're moving, all right? Wheel, Eight of Swords, but Ace of Cups is coming. I feel like you don't know why you're doing this. You just feel the urge to do it, okay? You just feel the urge to move toward your happiness. And, you know, it's one of those things where you don't know, you don't necessarily know why. You know it's good for you. Ace, uh, here the sun, king of swords, making decisions about your future, making decisions about what's good for you. This could be about a, a job, okay? Eight of pentacles, you could be moving from one job to another job. You could be making a decision to do that. Um, the other person uh, could be very tied to an old way of doing things, this other person, uh, this other person you're connected with um, is likely having, um, there could be some money issues here with this person. They're too much, they're focused on money or focused on something that's holding them. Could be sex, they could have some kind of sex addiction. Really? Um, I feel like, or, or some, uh, they could be dealing with a Sag that they're addicted to this devil energy. Let's see here. Devil energy. It's control. King of cups, page of pentacles, 10 of pentacles. 
This is really about um, love, loving money. This person really loves money. This person wants to make love to money. Okay? Um, and so they are focused on their fortune, focused on their work, um, focused on their stability. You know, it's an all that glitters kind of a thing. I feel like you have a different agenda here, wanting to be happy and joyful. There's something very different about what you want. And I feel like you're gonna move away from this person and you're not really gonna know why, okay? It's gonna feel weird to you. Eight of Swords, you're not wanting to be tied down. The wheel energy here is moving you forward toward the Ace of Cups. Really taking charge, Emperor, Nine of Wands. You could have been around and around with this person and um, now you're making a new decision, two of wands. For others of you, um, there's a, a younger fire sign who may love you, who wants to be with you, but isn't equipped to do it. You know, comes off, they're not a king really. I see the king of cups here, but the devil energy is suppressing um, their capabilities. They're only a page. They need to learn more about relationships. Three of Wands, wanting their ships to come in. They really, this is person really um, very creative or somebody who really wants more, a lot more money. It's just focused on money. Just give me money, money, money. And that is not okay for you. You're sort of like, you know what? Um, I really want to move towards something that's more love. Ace of Cups here. I want, just having money isn't making me happy. All right, the same kind, same, same thing goes if this is about a job, that just having a really good paycheck is no longer enough for you. Money's not enough anymore, okay? And so if you're married to this person, this has been an ongoing issue, that it's really about money and about stability, and you're like, you know what? I want something that's more, I'm standing up for myself. I want this Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Okay, I want this new beginning. So I'm looking to my tribe, my friends. Um, I'm making decisions for my life about what makes me happy. And I feel like that's what's going to happen here. Two of Wands, you're going to make choices for yourself um, about what makes you happy. Go to the sea. This is a deep, deeply connected. Hold on. You're really needing to, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, Moon. What am I saying about deeply looking inside for what has meaning for you? Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Moon. Um, I feel like might you might have been afraid to do that in the past because it, you um, wanted stability. You guys were in alignment with each other about wanting stability, okay? It was like that was the reason for the relationship. And so now that you're shifting into this King of Swords, like really rethinking this, right? And you're going to be moving forward toward a new love, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, that is going to be so much more in, li in line, in alignment with happiness and joy. This can also be, like I said, this can also be about um, creating your own tribe, this can be about creating a YouTube channel, creating your own uh, a blog or something like that that really makes you happy, that's going to bring you abundance, and it's likely to bring you um, love as well. Something like that. The sun energy here. So I see Leo. I see Aries. Aries, Leo, Sag right here. Really making a decision in terms of passion, in terms of your passion. And I don't think you've done that in the past because it's been about money. It's been about just keep it's root chakra stuff. It's about the fears of not being stable, keeping a roof over your head. And now you've done that for yourself. You may be finding a new career. You may be doing something that is bringing you more happiness and joy. And that's creating a lot more abundance for you. This other person is still sort of stuck in this eight of swords, uh, devil energy of, uh, ten of uh, pentacles. They've gone as far as they can in this situation. You guys have gone as far as you can. 
okay? You're looking for happiness. Now you're moving up in your chakras into your uh, pleasure place, which is the um, uh, sacral chakra. Uh, and that is about freedom from guilt, okay? Freedom from guilt is what opens that chakra. Guilt and shame. All right, there's something about that. Really uh, no longer doing that. You could, you guys could have had a, you could have felt no judgment. You could have felt that there was an unhealthy connection here, okay? And that it was trapping you. You could have also felt like your sex life was unhealthy or something in this connection, okay? And if this is a new person, this person is struggling with these demons while you're moving forward. So if this new person comes on your path, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, could be a younger fire sign. If this person comes on your path, it's because they've manifested you to help them learn this new lesson about moving away from something that's tying you down into something that's freeing. That's beautiful. You're making a conscious choice. Okay? This is now moving toward happiness freeing yourself from the bonds of this fear. Good for you guys. All right, so link is below. We're going to keep going. I want to see about this other person here. This is very confusing to me about what they're doing. There seems like they're going in two, diff two different directions. Okay, so we'll get that. Link is below. Water sign, July 2nd and 3rd. I'll see you on the other side.